Hi everybody, welcome to a bonus stream here on Loading Ready Run. My name is Graham and today we have a little fun sponsored stream to go to space. We're going to check out the space crew. What's up, Prof? You had me at space. No kidding. I feel the same way. Um, obviously, this is sponsored. The game was... Uh, and the game was provided. Um, the cardigan I just had. Not that you can see it. Eh. I'm actually... <laughs> it was there only for that. Because it's too warm. Ah. So... I, admittedly, know very little about this game. Actually, i tell you what. Let's take a look. Let's bounce over to boop, main menu. I actually know very little about this game. Uh, but I know that it was... It is, rather, made by the same uh, folks who made a uh, similar game called Bomber Crew. And slight sync issue, yes. Hmm, looks fine over here. You know what it is? Is that there's a new uh, uh, audio system in Studio G here and uh, haven't worked out all of the kinks. I'm now one of the cool kids and uh, have our, we have our own uh, Go XLR Mini at home here, which will be great for Kathleen's uh, home streams, but also fun for this. But yeah, don't quite have it all working yet I guess anyway um, oh goodness gracious look at these subs uh, Alan Byrne 82 months subs in space Amit of 1 84 months Thanderous 43 months Yellow Piper 9 months Agent Magic Master 82 months Brass Heron for 12 months I think I started subbing around the FF7 play it forward where did this year go no kidding uh, Queen Founder for 15 months. It's tax day in the U.S. I'm spending my workday clearing e-file rejects. LRR to the rescue. Stowe for an 85 months. It's a Graham stream. D-dubs for 49 months. 99 problems. Twitch ain't one for 26 months. Emergent OS for 35. Foxmar 320 for 81 months. Says hello. Tellarian Community College for 46 months. Picardigan Cardigan? Ah, uh, hoisted by my own Picard. Welcome back, Prof. Achillian for 24 months. Stream is go. Draxaw for 27 months. Enjoy space. This game is made by my friends in Brighton, UK. Well, hello. Hello to your friends. Manet for 7 months. LRR in space. Raid 7 for 27 months. Keep it lobster for 46 months. And Mdrift 314 for 66 months. Says sub, 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 subs. So, it's a game wherein uh, we have we, we go to space and we have a ship and there's a crew in the, the ship in space. That's why it's called Space Crew. It's It's out today. We're going to explore it together. That's sort of the point of uh, what's happening here. I appreciate the way the, the swoop, the ship, sw the, the treatment of the A there. It reminds me of the old, old, old Lego sets. I like that a lot. Willow Whiffs for three months. Wait, this game is from Brighton, UK? I'm from Brighton, UK. I, as the track from Fatboy Slim's classic album, You've Come a Long Way Baby, says, I'm not from Brighton. More is the pity. Though I've been there several times. Uh, real legit streamer just gifted five subs to Dan the Mediocre, Mercutio UK, Kaboom Goes Maximus, January and on, and Twinklebees. Uh, Alright, let's get into it. New game. I've done nothing in this slot, and I'm going to save over it. I just started it so I could make sure that the stream was going to look good. Sci-fi sequel to Bomber Crew. Yes, apparently it is that, but more and better, is what I am told. <laughs> Welcome to Athena Station, Wing Commander. Thank you, Wing Commander Lyra Winters. This will serve as the perfect opportunity to go over some basic training. Please, I would, I welcome, I eagerly welcome basic training. You need to go and retrieve the module, repair it in your ship, and deposit it back to, into the comms array. Select your captain by clicking directly on them or their panel. 
Okay, so here's our crew. Like launch in your captain station panel. All right, let's get out of here. The Asteroid Dodger. Good name for a ship. As long as it's true. Deselect your captain by right clicking. They are no longer selecting the captain. Zoom in out with the scroll wheel. Ooh. I'm going to use the up and down. Wah! Oh, wow. Eh, eh. Game audio is a bit hot. I can turn that down. I'm with a slider now. We have that level of control. Zip. Cool. Zoom out. Oh, and rotate around the ship. Uh, and move, move the mouse. While zoomed out, hold the. Aha. Oh, we're heading for something. <laughs> There's a status bar for how long you rotate the camera. Click the mouse wheel or press spacebar to toggle tagging mode. On tagging mode, oh, okay. What's this? You tag a waypoint, for example, a jump gate, your captain will pilot towards it. Cool. Depending on the type of waypoint, your ship will orbit or align with it. All right. Hello, space station. You seem cool. Hyper jump to Earth, the moon. Press tab to enter fast forward mode. You can only use fast forward mode when there are no enemies around. There's enemies! Oh boy. Oh, sorry. Now we're in fast forward mode. Krizap! Press tab again to exit fast forward mode. Select your captain by clicking on them or the panel. When you're orbiting a tagged jump gate, you can charge for hyper jump. Press charge in the captain's panel to charge. Quatam. Charging for hyper jump. Or wait, sorry. Charging for hyper jump. <laughs> this is the, the face up there reminded me a lot of Marvin from the Hitchhiker movie. Uh, now, those seem like problems, all those things there, but I guess let's try it. Uh, engage! To the moon! That was hardly worth a hyper jump. Looks like we've got some uninvited guests. Our scanners are picking up incoming phasmid activity to your location. We're uncertain how many are on their way, so make sure all your weapons stations are manned. Select your engineer. Get them to the weapon station. Go, go, go. Select your security officer. Huang. We've got Williams, Bouchard, Huang, Nimkova, Popov, and Azevedo. Nice. Click the mouse wheel or spacebar to toggle the tagging mode. Click. Oh, right, click the wheel. Tagging mode. I'm going to use spacebar. Whoops, because this mouse has a weird... Oh, gosh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. So I have to find the enemies to... I just, there we go. I just have to highlight the enemies to tag them. And then my crew will take care of it because they're a good crew and they know what they're doing. Uh, repair the communications array. You can do that. Okay, they're, they're sort of... They're, they seem to be handling themselves fairly well. Bouchard, what are you doing? Nothing. Locked for training. Okay. Can you change their names? Uh, I don't know. I mean, they are all tagged, so I guess I just have to sort of let... Oh, there we go. Just have to kind of let the, uh, let my crew do what they're going to do. All right, good work. That's their turn of them. Repair the probe and return to base. Neat. Tag the communications array to align with it. Tag, so I just have to highlight it and it becomes tagged. Let's 
Gonna take a little while to get there, so let's speed up. This is bomber crew, but in space, it is. And then ready to charge, captain. Nope. Not the captain. Oh, we're orbiting it. Oh no, we're orbiting the wrong thing. That's the thing we need to. That's where we need to go. It's not the array. <laughs> Uh, a kilometer away. Fast, fast. Let's go, go. Gee, you reinforce your chair to deal with action shake? Oh, right. Oh, got it. That's very funny. The, like, stabilized footage of uh, Next Generation. Argyle Janner, 30-month resub. Let's go to space in 2020. What could possibly go wrong? Saya Origaya. For 33 months. Welcome back. Simon 40, Russell for 47 months, and Budget DM for 57 months. Dang, thanks for reminding me of this game. I've been waiting for it. There you go. It's working. Uh, engineer, yo, pop off. We're we're popping off. Get to the tractor beam station. Your engineer is on the way to the tractor beam station. Retrieve. Ooh. Very fancy POV shot. Get in here. Uh, now, I would like you to go and touch it with your engineer hands. Cool. The rest of us will just uh, hang around. Hey, brownie points. Single player, huh? I've ignored this game because the name made me assume it was multiplayer based. I have to admit... I don't know if any of the developers or publishers are watching. I felt the same way. They asked us if we wanted to do a bonus stream, and I was, it, you know, there was a moment of like, oh, geez, I mean, if we can get enough people together. I realized it was single player. It became a lot easier. I was uh, conflating the notion with space team. Success! We did it. Look how amazing we are. Yeah, you push those buttons, Wang. Oh, wait. That's not. Hold up. No, hang on. Communications array. Oh, we are in the right place. I'm very smart. Engage. Quizap. Oh, Ian mentioned Artemis. Oh, Artemis is yeah, very multiplayer. Is this, so is this similar to FTL? I don't think so. It's in space, but I don't think it's similar to FTL. Now just put yourself inside that thing. I would also like to play Artemis at some point on on uh, crossing the streams, and I there was someone who uh, was like, "I will come and like bring the whole setup, and we'll do the whole thing," and that sounded great and awesome. And God knows when we'll be able to travel again because they were from the states. So don't hold your breath. I did it. I got a thousand credits and five hundred research. Good job, asteroid dodger. Oh, I gave it back. No. Good job, Aaron. Leah looks very concerned. Yeah, if you want to play multiplayer, if you want to play the multiplayer version of this, it's called Among Us, and sometimes people die. About Mess Hall. You can 
get a glimpse into the comings and goings of life on Athena in the mess hall. Events taking place during the war against the Phasmids are also broadcast on the television here. Cool. Credits. Purchase gear. Research. Upgrades for crew and ship. Perfect. Recruitment. Ah, I can get new crew. Training. Train the crew. Crew gear. Customize their equipment and costumes. Yes, perfect. Good. Spacecraft and some missions. All right. All right. All right. UDF Athena Station construction completed. It's very, very Starfleet uniforms. I like that there's like these folks in like the like Hawaiian shirt and jacket that look very like from from Alien. And then there's just sort of general jumpsuits, and then there's also Starfleet folks. And then there's this, like, apparently tuxedoed vampire running the bar. <laughs> Hello, this has piqued my interest. Is it good? I am in the literally in the process of finding out. Uh, I don't seem to be able to do anything in the mess hall, which is fine. Those are the actual options. Make a real thick UI. Um. Bah! Whoa! That was needlessly cool. No bounties yet, but there are missions. A low risk mission. I want to go back to the mess hall. Damn it. This is the mission briefing room. Select a mission for your crew. Any bounties? No bounties. Wait. That's very cool. Uh, oh, look. It's Lobot. It's... Oh, it's a room full of Lobots. So many Lobots. I like that they're just... There's a lot of really recognizable sort of visual shorthand of like, oh yeah, right, from from X, but it's all, like, it's like Alien and Star Wars and Star Trek, and it's all just sort of rammed together. And you know what? Why not? I'm here for it. All right, enemy forces at Phobos. Enemy forces at Phobos must be taken care of. Wipe them all out. Mission risk. Oh, begin mission. This is the, the, the... I get the impression that the game is very like, look, it's, there's evil aliens. You're at war, just it's, don't... We're not going to engage with it in a higher hunt on some sort of higher level than that. And that's fine. Uh, this is a real combat mission. There are still a few features of your ship we need to try out. Uh -huh. At some point during this mission, some controls of your ship and crew will be locked for training purposes. Seems very dangerous, Wing Commander Lyra Winters, but okay. Let's get out of here. Evasiveness, 8%. Navigate to Mars. Mars, you say? Charging up to get to Mars. Let's Mars. Okay, but wait, before you do that, let's run through how your ship's reactor works. Okie dokie. Let's get the engineer. Get the engineer's panel. This is the engineer's station panel. From here, you can modify reactor output to the ship's different systems. Shields, weapons, engines, and gravity. Who needs gravity? Gravity. Come on. Uh, okay. While charging for hyperjump, four units of power will be diverted and locked to the engines. Okay. Until it is upgraded, the reactor only has four units of power. So currently, all your reactor power is being used to charge for hyperjump. That seems strategically problematic. Notice your energy weapons are showing that they do not have any power to operate. Oh, that's why. Okay. Your gravity generator and shield recharger are also without power. So it's like, alright, we're charging for hyperjump. Everyone starts floating. The vending machine shuts down. 
After you complete the hyper jump reactor output will be returned to previously set balance and everything will be operational again. Ah, try removing a unit of power from the gravity generator. Whoop! Now your gravity generator d indicates it does not have enough power. I see that. Try adding a unit of power to the weapons. Energy weapons, e.g. plasma cannons, require power in order to operate. They are more effective with more power. Non-energy weapons, e.g. autocannon, do not require power. Select your security officer. Whang. Move your security officer to the ship's left weapon station. Get over there. <laughs> right, there's no gravity. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing her best. Enemies incoming, full ship and crew control has been returned to you. Okay. Set your reactor power to your preference and move your crew to weapon stations as required. So who are you? Navigation. Well, you get to a weapon then. So I get the imp I get the idea. Where are the weapon enemies? There they are. I get the idea that the low gravity just, me like mechanically, it's just, it takes your crew longer to move around the ship. There's more. So I can like rear shields low. So what if I boop boop? Okay. Alright, that works. Uh, no, don't want to go to Earth. I want to get my ass to Mars. All shields restored. Cool. Okay, yeah, alright. I see how this works. I dig it. Do the Wigan strategy of full power to weapons at close range. I was definitely tempted to just shut my engines off and just sit there. The engines help with my evasiveness. Really dodging the difficult questions. You know, you're sitting there floating in space and you're just like, I don't recall. Mars, Phobos. Clear enemies. But where are they? Oh, heck. Let's do it. No engines, no gravity. Weapons, weapons. <laughs> Get back on the gun. Oh, there's more. Or no, that's just me shooting at them. When you say the Wiggins way, do you mean when he's playing like squadrons? I definitely, the lack of evasiveness definitely means I'm taking more hits, I have to assume. You all please hit those guys. Hey, wait a minute, oh boy. Oh yeah, if you want to sit 
right there. Oh, the auto cannon. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what? Let's maybe let's give ourselves a little bit of evasiveness, hey? There's no one at Nav. There's nobody at Nav. So that's maybe why we're not doing anything. No? No, still not doing anything. Alright, well, get back on the gun then. It's just that one ship, hey? You, uh. Could y'all, uh. Could you all kill those guys? Cool. Alright, you can all have gravity back. Mission all over. Turn to base. Nice. I assume everyone's made the FTL comparisons? Yes, but I don't know. This doesn't... I've barely interacted with FTL, and this doesn't seem nearly so... Whoops, you died! <laughs> you did everything right, and then oopsie! Uh, oh, goodness gracious. Uh, Hoplon42 for six months. Good lord, this has been a long year. Six months seems far too short. No kidding. Pixel Art Dragon for 25 months. 25 months? That's just over two years. <laughs> Accurate. Roger Ivany for 26 months. The captain really looks like Picard. Or did in your tweet, at least. Yes, the one in the key art definitely looks very Picardian. Picard-esque. Charging my, my, my warp drives. Me is bored for 40 months. Welcome back. Engage. Raving Penguin for 63 months says this game looks rad. Grackle, a brand new sub. Welcome to the channel. And Razor Swift for 27 months. Welcome, everybody. Uh, to base. Oops. Before return to Athena, we'll explain a little bit about your captain's piloting modes. You can select the current piloting mode. See that. Currently, as the jump gate waypoint has been tagged, you can see the waypoint locked is highlighted. Let's try canceling this waypoint. Uh, this waypoint's so canceled. To press patrol, press patrol to cancel the waypoint and patrol the sector. More piloting modes will be unlocked as your captain gains experience. Now we're just hanging around now. Notice how the jump gate is on tag. Tag it again to switch back to follow waypoint to continue the journey. Cool. I like that you can... I was using the space bar there for a little bit, but you can do this whole thing with the mouse. Which I quite like. It's a... It's certainly a much more casual experience than FTL from what I'm learning so far, and uh, I'm here for that. FTL is... too stressful. For me. Get to base. Professor Membrane! For 57 months, divert all power to cuteness. Ooh, I took some hits there. E asked rogue. I did it. This implies that you could not return the ship. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. They've learned skills. Uh, Captain. Attack. Plots a course toward enemy fighters for a more direct confrontation. Defensive. Plots a course that keeps the ship strong as shields facing the enemy. Ooh, I like that. Engineer. Reactor boost. Definitely, temporarily gives a small boost to the power output of the reactor. Shield replenish. Quickly restores shields to full strength. Nice. And focus fire. Heightens aim accuracy with a turret for a short period. Yes. Good. That's good. I like that. Also... Uh, there was the tab to speed things up. That you can also slow gameplay down a little bit, presumably if you need to, like, I don't know, make uh, some kind of very important gameplay decisions without getting completely rolled over, I assume. Uh, Jaded Cynic for 44 months. Yay, Graham. How's this one? I liked Bomber Crew. I never played Bomber Crew, but this seems pretty cool. Can somebody who played Bomber Crew let me know if they think that this is cool? I have a better microphone at home now. I don't know if you can tell. Nefade! For 17 months. Welcome back. How Fedorable for 45 months says, I feel old now. Don't worry. We all do. <laughs> and spooky noises! For seven months. I had that tape. That, like, the cassette tape of, like, spooky Halloween noises. You know, the one everyone had. Did G steal a microphone from the office? Yeah, only six months after James stole the same microphone. The same kind of microphone. Light armored suit, Mark One. Cool. Battle helmet, nice. Armored boots, neat. Light gloves, okay. Aha, now we have options. Very cool. Here's our crew. Liz, you're, <laughs> you look really, really nervous, Liz. Uh, all right, this is the crew gear room. In here you can customize your crew's gear. Different crew gear will have different properties such as resistance to damage, resistance to radiation, or improved mobility. Uh, yes, I would like to do that. Well, what? Oh, it just auto-equips all the newest cool stuff. Oh, interesting. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So what are these... Yeah, no, I, I, I can, I, I see there's a custom loadout, yeah. So the helmet. Equipped to all. Oh, I can give it to everybody? So this gives a little bit of armor and a little less movement speed. The suit. You can dress everyone up like this. This actually has stats. A little bit of armor, a little less movement speed. No holster. Gloves. A bit of armor. And boots. A little bit of armor and a lot less movement speed. Interesting. So, first of all... Okay, good. <laughs> Look, you're a crew. <laughs> Uh, and you all get gloves, I think. Because it looks like I can do that, that I can just equip every... I, I, this is just a thing that I have now, and I can give it to everybody. So that's just plus five armor for 90. Great, let's do it. Everybody gets gloves. <laughs> oh boy, all red shirts. Star Trek was in the 60s. Next Generation, the red, ever since Next Gen, which was in the 80s, red was command. Alright, um... 
shark does look like me. Uh, okay. Wasn't yellow command? In the original, gold was command, yes. Did they ever explain that change? I, I think they just thought it looked better. I think red is tactical in TNG. No, because like the just like chief of security, the weapons officer is gold. Like blue is easy. Blue is science and medical. We got that figured out. <laughs> Gee, why do you have a command shirt within arm's reach? Ah, uh, because I had it and I figured it'd be fun to wear for the stream, but you couldn't see that what it actually was, and it's too hot. Graham noted Trekkie Stark. You're not wrong. Uh, anyway, am I giving everyone these dopey looking helmets? Probably. Why do the individual people need armor? <laughs> That's what worries me. Also, I could just, I could hire someone new. This is the recruitment room. New recruits will come here to fill your crew. Oh, is this like if I need... Oh, I see. I don't have any openings at the moment, because no one's dead. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Two words, boarding parties? Oh, no. Boarding is a thing. All right, well, in that case, let's give everyone this dopey-looking helmet. Everybody, helmet up. I don't like the boots, and I don't, frankly, don't like this thing either. Aesthetics are also important, even in space. Look at you. You magnificent bunch of fools. Uh, although... This is actually kind of difficult to tell them apart. Alright. Engineer. Uh... And weapons. Let's give these to the the two weapons officers. Let's do that. I have no idea if I'm doing this optimally. Never played the game before. Came out today. That's the point of the stream. All right. Boop. Zip, boop. Zip. Check out those Phasmid forces. <laughs> Sorry, all their little helmets. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Uh, any bounties? 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 No. Okay. Transport supplies. Boring. A lot of credits, though. Clear out Phasmid forces. Eh, it's still low risk. Can I do both? I guess I'll do both. Do one and then the other. Uh, let's get out of here. This game is, if nothing else, very charming. It is. Before starting this mission, let's quickly go over some of the equipment on the ship. Equipment is stored in the ship's in the equipment racks around the ship. You can customize your ship's equipment loadout between missions on Athena Station. There are four types of equipment. Spacesuits, fire extinguishers, phase rifles, and medkits. It looks like I have one rifle, two rifles, and then four fire extinguishers, just in case, three medkits, and three spacesuits. So you're all going to have to draw straws. As a training exercise, we've started a controlled fire at the back of the ship for your crew to put out. Thanks. Can you just... Uh, how do I... Shouldn't I be able to... Oh, I have to get Pop-Pop to do it? Alright, well. And extinguish the fire, please. Did 
Thank you. Now stow it. Occasionally, your engines may become damaged. This will cause them to leak radiation into your ship, harming your crew. Delightful. To repair your engines, you'll have to send a crew member out of the ship. Make sure they pick up a spacesuit first. We've marked an engine as damaged. Let's try repairing it. Uh, get you a spacesuit, I guess. Any crew member can repair, but an engineer will repair faster. That tracks. Come on, Popov. Hooray. Turn your engineer to their station by clicking on it. Now, will they automatically disrobe the spacesuit? Is my question. No. Oh. Just dump it on the... Sure, just leave that on the floor. You know what? Fine. I'll pick it up and put it in the laundry hamper. You will need to use phase rifles if phasmids board your ship. I see that. If one of your crew is incapacitated, you can have another crew member use a med kit to revive them. That's the end of items training. Continue with your mission. All right, so self-destruct. Uh, all right, got to actually... Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, fastest route. Safest route. Hmm. <laughs> we got places to be. We're going for distance. We're going for speed. Sleebum, a brand new sub. Welcome to the channel. Agent Winter for 23 months. Welcome back. RL15 for 32 months. A crew where every member is on the command track seems questionable. Delightfully average for 25 months says Spurs. Soul Survivor with 300 bits says Kapla. And 50 bits from Magical Writer. Thank you. Let's charge up and go into hyper yump. Oof. Uh, I'm going to let you all handle that. Where's the mission? Oh. That way. Why would you go into the asteroid belt? Oh, hell. Uh, let's. Oh, goodness. Taking some direct fire here. Uh, let's. Oh, wow. Okay, hang on. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Get on the guns. Get on the guns. Get on the guns. Thank you. Oh, so we can charge to get out of here, but then we will take some hits. Because that will... Our engines are damaged. Oh. I'm going to have to send you outside in the middle of this firefight. Which, I, I admit, seems like a bad idea, but this is where we're at. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. There's only one more of them. Oh, there's more. Hello. Those are different. Uh, my captain is about to die? Oh, can you get back inside, please? Holy goodness gracious. Also, repair this. Whatever that is. Remove your spacesuit, too, but keep repairing. 
Captain, can you go and repair? You can't repair that. Can you repair that? Yeah, you got that. Captain might die. Captain died. This is fine. Revive crew member. There's fire, which is maybe part of the problem. I realize now. Yeah, Popov is now on fire. Let's, ex let's get you to extinguish the fire. C Captain. <laughs> Captain, can you, can you hold still, please? Thanks. This is all fine. All right, Captain, you can go sit back down. Looks like Popov's got this under control. Cool, that was awful. Let's get out of here. Oh, there is a mid base station. Is that a thing I can do? Can I just send them right to the med bay and like hang out for a while? Stow that fire extinguisher. <laughs> you know what? Have a lie down. You've earned it. Is that the that's the objective? Ah, but we can't do anything until the captain's out of the... Oh, heck. Hello. There was another one. There it is. Captain, could you get out of there? Thanks. Uh, you can get back in there. Shields could be looking better. Probably fine there. Shields restored. Good, good. Can you uh, stow that? Thought I had tagged the ships that are directly beside us, shooting at us. Uh, watch out for that asteroid, also. Can we, uh,. Can we take care of those things? I, mean, I guess that also works. Uh, Popov, can you... You have to be at your station for this to work. There we go. Can we... Uh, let's, who needs gravity when we have shields? Oh, there is a fire. Look at that. Pop up, can you take care of that? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for taking care of that in the cutscene. I appreciate it. Argo Secure, thanks for the prompt journey. Or the prompt thing. Okay, now return to base. What? Okay, you repair that. You... Uh, you know what? Let's just chill for a second. Are we being timed? No? Great. Let's just hang out for a moment. Uh, hey, who wants to take the safe route home? Anybody? <laughs> Step back down.
Medical Bay has a limited capacity for healing. Interesting. So the, med the Medical Bay has like a charge. <laughs> Not ideal. A direct power to it? I don't think so. No, where am I going? Where the heck am I going? Is that the base? That's apparent. According to the the outline, that's the goal. So maybe this. Is, maybe I just dock here. Whoops. Evidently, that is not the case. Venus, asteroid belt. There's nowhere else. You have two. I know I have blue markers, but usually the orange markers are the quest thing. Don't think you have anybody on nav. Oh. Yeah. Bouchard, can you get back to Nav for a second? I don't know if that actually makes a difference. Aha! That did make a difference. Stop that. Alright. Nope, stop that. Alright. Uh, fastest route or safest route? Well, we took the dangerous route here, and um, our shields are bad. And we ran, we have no more charge in our med bay, and everyone's a little beaten up. So let's take the safe route home. Can't the shields recharge? I oh, the shields are full, the hull is beaten up. That makes sense. Yes, yeah, we have, sorry, that's what this indicator down here by the bonus stream icon is. The shield, the forest shields are at 100%, but the hull is doing poorly. And I'd like us all to get home alive, so we're going to take the safe route. Can't we leave while in com- ow. Can we leave while in combat? Uh, so, ow. Okay, what the heck? That particular asteroid was being very aggressive. I'm gonna wait for the shield to recharge. All right. I completely lost my train of thought. Uh, oh yes, no. So uh, if um, if I charge up to hyper jump, then. What's up, Venus? If I charge up the hyper jump, it diverts all power from other systems, meaning I'm kind of a sitting duck if I'm charged for hyper jump. So that's why I don't want to like try to jump away. Like what was what happened a lot in the last. Um, oh, what what needs repairing? Okay. What happened in the middle of the last fight was the. Uh, uh, I was orbiting the thing, and it was like you can charge and jump at any time, but I was actively being attacked. Which seemed like a bad time to do that. Guild of Trist for 45 months. Fire seems bad. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not my favorite. There. Go. Super speed. Uh, Beowulf for 86 months says, you don't need two of those engines. Banderbear91 for 33 months. Welcome back. And Seraph Althea for 26. Welcome back to you. Hey, hey. First of all, I would never have expected this to happen. Said the fool. Well, 
more power to shields. More power to shields. I don't know what the problem with that. Oh, there's no power to the... Right, gravity. Okay. That's fine. I did that on purpose. Ah, uh, now, you can do... You got a thing, didn't you? Or is it just a passive thing? Ah! Focus fire. Focus fire. Boost the reactor efficiency. One more to shields, one more to weapons. Should have done that before. Oh, we're fine. Oh, no, we're not. Hello. Oh, there's another one. Heck. Oh, heck. Good timing, good timing. Let's get out of here. Thank you, truck. Toot toot indeed. Well, that was tense. Yeah, I should have used that palfriend patine. I should have slowed time down so I had a little more time to think, but eh, here we are. Space crew. Transported those supplies. Ship returned. A little worse for wear, but we got there. Everybody's alive. Look at us. Look at us. Ooh, ship plating and plasma cannons. Mark two. Spacecraft. Yes. Hello. Hello. Spacecraft hangar. You can upgrade the equipment on your ship. You can also customize the appearance and name of your ship. Did I choose the asteroid dodger? No. Oh, that's good, Angor. I like that. Oh, no, like, that doesn't fit. Hmm. The Expo Deco. <laughs> Unsinkable 3. That's good. The Millennial Falcon. Wow, these are all great. <laughs> the Asteroid Get Hit By. Yeah, the problem is Asteroid Dodger is also provably untrue. Brick of Glory. God, these are all really good. I'll do one I saw earlier. Loading Kessel Run. Perfect. That does not fit well. Well, let's upgrade the weapons anyway. Plasma Cannon. Mark 2. 
Uh, yes, let's do that. Plasma cannon is already. Oh, Mark II. Yes. And then I have an auto cannon and an auto cannon. Sure, that's fine, I guess. Asteroid catcher. <laughs> so I like that better, actually. Uh, armor. None. 750 credits. It's going to take a lot of credits to put armor all over this ship. Let's do it. Let's give it the plates. Alright, that was all my money. But I'm so strong now. Hire ablative crew. This is the crew training room. Here you can review the skills that you, the crew have acquired. Once a crew member reaches a certain level, you can train them with a secondary skill. <gasps> Multi-classing? Primary skill? Captain. Secondary skill. Can't do it. So nobody can learn a secondary skill yet. Oh, cool. So they get level 3, level 6, level 9, and level 12. Neat. Did not need to come in here. Rescue astronomer? Well, we might do that after this short break. <laughs> Gotta run a quick break. We'll be right back with more Space Crew. Hi. Wait. Game music. That music stop. In game music go. Juggling all the buttons. What's up? I am back. So, should we investigate phasmid activity or rescue an astronomer? An observation outpost located near Saturn's moon Prometheus has come under attack, but one of the outpost's crew have escaped. Professor Scott is the leader in her field. She must be rescued before the outpost is destroyed. Or reports of phasmid activity near the near the Cooper Belt. Cooper Belt Alpha clear out any hostile forces. Eh. Let's rescue the astronomer. Vaseline or barcode? Barcode. Great. Astronomer it is. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's get out of here. <laughs> that name is already funny. I'm going to take the safe road there, and maybe we'll take the... Actually, wait. I'll take the fast route there, and then we'll take the safe route home. Presumably we will have a, a guest aboard. Kuiper? The Kuiper Belt. Neat. Rescue might have an away mission. You can have away missions? And slam. Oh, right. Just before break, Kyne Elwin, for 21 months, resubbed. Make it so. Engage. Indeed. Warning. Increased enemy activity. Well, I don't like that. There they are. Nope. That's not enemy activity. That way, please. Now, if we could try to not catch, despite the name of the ship, if we could try to not catch asteroids on our way through this thing. Please try not to catch any asteroids on your way across the belt. All right. Boost. More to weapons. More to shields. And I guess repair that, since that happened immediately. Uh, also, can you please get to a weapon? And can you also get to a weapon? And can we stop... Hitting asteroids, please. Fo 
Focus fire. Focus fire. Yikes. What are you doing? Sit down. Very not good. Okay, focus fire is taking some time to recharge. That makes sense. Repair that. I thought I asked you to repair that. I was very specific. This is Professor Scott of the Prometheus Outpost. I'm the only surviving member of the crew requesting assistance. Uh, yes, we are on our way over there. Got a little beat up on the way over, but, you know, we're okay. This is amazing, by the way. The, by the rings. This is really cool. Com seems to have sensors for targeting enemies and setting nav routes. Comms. Nope, that's not comms. Hi. Have a seat, Scott. Thanks for the rescue. This outpost is about to self-destruct. I suggest we escape the sector quickly. Let's get out of here. Oh, heck. Clonk. Sorry. Uh... Get out, get out, get out. Goodbye. <laughs> Warning. Ass. Okay, when we start getting into the... We're gonna get some more power to the shields, I think. Why is it about to self-destruct? Don't know, it didn't say why. Shields, shields. Get over there. Hello. I like when they come up beside and just stop right in front of the guns. That's good. Get out of this sector. Ooh, that is taking a long time to charge the hyperdrive. Cancel that. We are still being shot at. Yes, this was indeed the safe route. Okay, boost is still recharging. Whoa, hold up. Hold up. Oh god. Uh Quick, quick, quick. Can you get over here, please? was fraught. 
Oh, heck. Stow that. You grab that. Quick. Extinguish the fire. Specifically the fire on Nimkova. Okay. Oh wait, stow your thing. Or just drop it. Sure, that works too. Alright. That was... That was fraught. Again, I forgot to slow it down, which I really should have done. It's not some phasmid technology. Scan it so we can learn about it. Okay. Sure, let's scan it. I don't know how to do that, but optional... Optional thing seems like a good good idea. I was wrong. This was the safe route. Oh hell. Get up there. Shoot, shoot them. No, not again. Captain. You too. Papa, prepare this. Him. Uh, can you guys, can you, the ones with guns, can you take care of this? The gun havers, maybe, could take care of the, the alien on board the ship? Great. Okay, stow that. Stow that, then get, whatever, get back there. You, repair that. Oh, you've got so much to repair. You know what? You can repair as well. What's happening outside? Oh, heck. Uh, you... have that. Heal self. Oh, didn't even see about Huang there. That's very bad. Uh, grab this other one. Pop off. Grab this. Okay, let's... let's slow things down a little bit. Don't do this. Five crew member. Oh, that only works for a limited amount of time. I see. No, Popov, you have... Oh, I thought you had a gun. You have the gun. Get over there. Keep repairing. Okay, we seem to be okay. F I mean, except for the dead guy. We seem to be okay for just the moment. Stow that. Grab this. Uh, oh, Huang is dead, dead. Didn't know that could happen. Cool, stow that. Uh, who gets to scan the thing? Hopefully not the dead person.
Oh, there it is. It had to be at their station. Okay. So we lost somebody there. Not great. You considered putting a lock on the door. No kidding. That was rough. Come on. Oh, crap. Captain, get back to your station. I believe this was the safe route. No, don't come on board. going to take a minute to charge up because there's enemies around. New ones. How did I not tag you? Focus fire is ready. Great. Use it. Please use it. Make them be not a here anymore. close. That was the safe route. Goodness gracious. What was the not safe route then? I don't know. Worse, I guess. <laughs> well, now we need a new uh, communications officer. Research bonus. The asteroid catcher returns. Hooray, hooray, hur aw, hooray, hooray. Request fighter support. I like that. Uh, calls in friendly fighter. Cool. Oxygen mask. Engineering tool. Ah, repairing ship systems. Yeah. Standard shields mark two. Okay, lots to do. We need... Who are all of you? How do we... What? Security... Okay, so these are all security officers. I see. Previous occupation, research. Likes hiking. Hometown Singapore, favorite color green. Hobby, calligraphy. Favorite color, orange. Favorite food, pies. So we can just pick any of these. They're all level 2 security officers. And their stats are all the same. They're all identical. Great. Come aboard. Now, 
did I get new stuff there? Holster. Uh, Popov, you definitely get this. I don't know if everybody needs it. You definitely do. And you... You get, same as everybody else, those gloves and the hat. Ooh, what's this? Oxygen mask. Large personal extra oxygen supply. I guess that's helpful if... I actually don't want to consider what is going to happen if that becomes relevant. Some sort of decompression, I assume. Shields. Uh, yes. Slightly improved shield recharger. It creates fairly basic shielding and recharges slowly. Well, it's exactly what I have, but better, so... Let's spend the money. Didn't even consider that is unattractive. Didn't even consider changing delivery. Oh dang. The asteroid catcher. Oh, I like that actually. for a moment. Ugh. I just wanted the gray to be a little darker. I liked the blue. Good ship. All right. I think we have time for one more mission before uh, wrapping the stream up for today. So we can... Oh, interesting. So we can replay transport supplies. Cool. Uh, these are medium risk, and that sounds like a bad idea. So I'm going to do the other one that people were thinking of last time, which is investigating this phasmid activity. Let's do it. All right, everyone currently with us? Great. Let's try not to lose anybody on this mission. Uh, two objective is... Yes. Uh, 
Mercury, you say? Am I going to get attacked between... Yes, I am. I was going to say between here and Mercury. Let's just start with a boost right now. Let's play defensive to start with. Everyone's on a gun position at the moment, so can you get on, on one, please? Those, the, uh, the auto guns are better than, or the plasma guns are better than the auto cannon anyway. Spinning around. Right. Playing defensive. Good. So the defensive thing is that we... The captain angles the... More charged shields... Towards... Point... Point shield towards enemy. Focus fire didn't seem to do a lot there. Lower shields have failed. Could be worse, or could be better, rather. Still still on defensive, huh? Good, good, good. Good. Great. Everyone okay? That worked all right. Atmospheric purge controls. Oh, interesting. Does that? Hmm. Does that mean I can like make make people make like if if I get boarded, can I make them go away? I'm going to try that next time. Because last time we had a passenger in this room, so I couldn't really do that very well. Uh, anyway, where are we going? We're going there, please. We figured out whether the phasmids breathe air. Uh, I don't know, but I feel like that. I feel like this purge system has to exist here for a reason. Zoom. Oh, good with fires. Yes, fires also need to breathe. Uh-oh. What happened? <sighs> Damn it, where? It's just the let if it's just these two and no others, then we should be okay without using any of our special skills. Can you uh can you uh shoot them please? With with your guns? 
You shoot them with your guns. Oh, that was that one down. Just the one. There. I mean, no jump gate in range. It's right there. Wow, we we defensive maneuvered quite far away from that jump gate. Enemy fighters detected. You know, I mean, that's the reason I didn't pull laner off, uh, off the gun yet. Let's go down to, to attack position. Oh, wow, well, alright. Alright. Here we go. So how are you liking the game, Graham? I'm I'm enjoying it. It's not it it it's not a typical kind of game that that I play. Um, I tend to like to uh, I I I tend to like the um, Baldur's Gate system of like you just pause everything and you're like, all right, everybody stop. You do that thing, and then you're gonna go do this thing. You know, like a lot more, a lot more like that. But um. That said, uh, I, I am enjoying this. I don't feel like I'm being punished for not being, like, super quick about it. Alright, you can get back on security for now. Pop off, you can get back in engineering for now. Uh, where's my objective? Clear enemies. Oh. Clear and present enemies. Boost! Let's just go hard attack on these ones. Should have got my crew into their battle stations before I did that, but hey. All right, back to defense. Back to defense. Put some more stuff into shields, please. <laughs> that was eh, maybe not ideal. Focus fire is not recharged. All right. This is not an attack ship. Ooh, boy. Spin, 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 spin. One more into shields until boost runs out. Alright, no more gravity for anybody, only shields. Oh, what needs repairing? Oh, no, the gravity's off, okay. You gotta repair that, whatever that is. Oh boy, oh boy. This is. This is an awful lot of ships. Our shields are almost completely gone. Pop off, sit back down. Just using focus fire as soon as it comes up. Pop off, repair that. Float your float your butt over there and repair that thing. Quickly, please. I know there's no gravity, but come on. Oh, and there's a fire. Actually, wait. Pop off. Go back in there. I want to try something. Ah, 
Ah, so some of the crew, <laughs> these folks were still technically in those rooms and were losing oxygen during that time. But I put the fire out, and that was all the enemies. So not bad. Uh, now we just return to base. Oh, right. Bouchard, could you... Thank you. There we are. Oh, I could have called for fighter support. Definitely doing that if I get ambushed on the way home. Yeah, fire went out, nobody suffocated. That seemed to work out just just fine. Yeah, we investigated that activity. Turns out it was there, and now there's none. <laughs> Definitely getting attacked. There they are. Okay, it's only two of them right now. All right, can you? It's you who did fire support. Okay, get on there. Oh, there's more. All right, let's try this. Fighter support, please. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Uh, where, where are you? Friends? Friends? There they are. Yeah, the cavalry's here. You, uh, fight them, or...? Well, they they don't stick around for long. Come on, folks. <laughs> Let's just get rid of the. There we go. There's one and two. Can we all buy our powers combined? Thank you. Oh wait. Okay. Okay. Before the fighters. T take off. Can we, uh, can we have a little bit of help from, from, from both, from all three of you? All right. Later. That went all right. Nice. We did it. Oh, hey. Dronosius for 11 months. Kirby Tronic for 15 months. 15 months? That's almost in September. Azure Dragon God for 42 months. Ojo Vanoski, 2 for 25 months. Guy and Luck also for 25 months. Wolf and Otter for 6 months. And Scarble for 45 months, who says... Uh, is this game just fighting or is there exploration too? I mean, uh, fighting seems to be a lot of it, but like there's, you know, sort of, there's like uh, managing your crew and the ship. There's like a little exploration, it seems. Evasive piloting. Aaron, you're doing okay. Perform evasive maneuvers to reduce the chance of getting hit. Radiation suit. Oh. Neat. 
Transient Poe, yeah, a lot of people have made the FTL comparison just based on sort of, like, the view of the ship, which I think is just, like, the best way to do the looking at a ship and this kind of thing. But I, I don't feel, from my limited knowledge, I don't feel like the... I don't feel like the game is that similar to uh, FTL, but... Ah, experienced research professor Jill Scott safely recovered from Saturn. Prometheus Outpost. That was me. I did that. Woo. 104 enemy ships destroyed. Five missions complete, one crew member lost, Rip Huang. 7,500 7, total credits. 4250 research, zero ships lost. 20 jumps, 104 enemy ships destroyed. 12 enemy borders. I think that was, I think I got a steam achievement for the 104 ships that said, we're gonna win. So. That was great. Oh, hey, look, it's, it's, it's my crew. You can tell because they're wearing those stupid helmets. Well, there we go. That uh, brings us just up to noon o'clock. And so, yeah, there we go. There was, there was Space Crew. Thanks to Rubber Duck Games for hooking us up with a copy and sponsoring this stream. Appreciate it. Yeah, that was fun. Check it out. It's uh, it's out today. It's launch day. It's out on Steam. Um, give it a give it a look if it's if it seems like you're kind of jam. It's uh, it's fun. It's cute too. It's I really really love the graphics. I love this. I this is this is wildly unnecessary, but the the moving around the space station is. Did you name your shuttle? Oh no! Oh crap! <laughs> no, I just wrote that on the side of it. <laughs> It's called so it, by default it was the asteroid dodger, uh. and uh, but it, that proved that was provably untrue. Uh. So we called it the asteroid catcher, and then I wrote "Oh no, oh crap" on the back. And you can't see the, you can't orbit the ship, but on the back of the ship it also says "No rock too small." <laughs> to get stuck in Irvins. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like that you can customize your ship. Yeah, yeah, you can do all sorts of customization. It's neat. 16,000 credits total value? Oh, I'm never going to pay this thing off. Oh, Didero says it's also for sale on Humble Bundle. Well, there you are. Easy peasy. Alrighty. That's going to do it for this bonus stream. Uh, hey, thanks for joining us. Uh, this, was, this was a fun time. And in two hours of human existence... <gasps> it's going to be LRRMTG. Uh, James and Adam will be in there today. And then tonight on the channel at the usual time when that occurs is Tinker Taylor with Ian making a cup noodle gunpla. So you're going to want to tune in for that. Cup noodle branded Gundam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good times. All right. That'll be it. Later, everybody. See you next time.